Hi, myself Prithi and in this session we will discuss PLSQL language elements. As in all other programming languages, PLSQL also has identifiers, literals, operators, comments, expressions and comparisons, data types and its declaration. In this session we will discuss all these language elements one by one. Let's start this session. Identifiers are named convention used to define variables, constants or oracle objects like tables, procedures, functions, package, triggers, cursors, etc. So the name which we assign to variable or constant are called as identifiers. All these names should be different from the keywords used in PLSQL. To assign values to these variables or constant, we use literals. So literals are used to specify an exact value in a program. Literals can be numeric, character, string or boolean. For example, here we are assigning a value 3 to a variable first underscore number. Here first underscore number is the identifier which is the name used to define some variables and 3 is the numeric literal. As in all other programming language, we also have operators. These slides indicate the usage of arithmetic operators. We have operators like plus which are used to add two operands, minus which are used to subtract two operands, multiplication, division and exponent. Exponent is used to raise the first operand to the exponent of second. It means that 3 exponent 2 will return 9 because 3 raised to power 2 is equal to 9. So we have all these arithmetic operators in PLSQL. We also have some special operators. It is important to note the usage of assignment operator. The symbol for assignment operator is colon equal to. And assignment operator is used to assign the value of operand or expression on the right to the variable or constant on the left. It means that in this example y is assigned to variable x or in this case 3 is assigned to variable a. So assignment operator has a special symbol colon equal to. It is important to note that simple equal is used for comparison while colon equal is used for assignment operator. We also have range operator which is defined with the use of two dots. For example, one dot dot five indicates an integer range between one to five. It is important to note that here both lower and upper values are included in this range. We also have concatenate operators as in SQL and in this case it will concatenate two strings kit and cat. In second example, it will concatenate the value of x with the value of y. So these are important operators in PLSQL. As in all other programming language, we also require use of comments. And in order to include comment in PLSQL, we have two type of comment. One is single line comment and another is multi line comment. A single line comment begin with a double hyphen sign and it can appear within a statement or at the end of the line. Here we are declaring x as a number type variable. Here double line, here double hyphen variable declaration is a comment which is added with this code. Multiline comments can be added in a PLSQL code by using forward slash asterisk sign terminated with asterisk sign and forward slash. It is same as in C programming language. For example, this whole part is considered as a comment because it is written within forward slash asterisk sign terminated with asterisk sign and forward slash. We can also use expressions and comparisons in PLSQL as we used in all other programming language. We will discuss the usage of expressions or comparison operators in coming sessions. The important data types of PLSQL are number, character, variable character, date and boolean and these are the same in SQL. This is all about this session. Thanks for watching this video and in next session we will discuss the usage of PLSQL variables and constant in more detail. You can refer my book Simplified Approach to DBMS to read more about PLSQL. 
You can also refer PLSQL for beginners, a simplified approach in Kindle format to read more about it. Thanks for watching this video.